careful sir we do go very fast oh, I'm joking you can lean out if you wish at your own risk of course you know you might fall that and then you can run as far as we are you know that's all with the flag you were walking from well we could do that as well yeah, yeah. it's because we're propelling Thank you. 
The destination for the slate, or the destination for the railway, was the port on the River Dubby, just to the, it to the west of Newcomfort, uh, which is a place called Derwin Lass. Uh, and there, in the 1850s, there was a little uh, set of quads along the side of the river, and slate was taken by wagon down from the quarries to that point. In, between 1850 and 1858, the, the quarry owners was working out how they could get a railway established here and by 1858 they got the relevant act of parliament passed to create a tramway. The railway is Y shaped, so you are sitting at the moment in the join of the Y, so the two branches come together. Actually the join is just behind that tree over there behind the signal box. Uh, the upper chorus line, which is behind me, that followed from that point up the incline, which is pretty much the roof line of the building from here. Uh, south of here, uh, the several quarries along the way to Mohandlis, uh, there's one just behind Canus. Uh, the other one that you can still visit today is the, what's now the Centre for Alternative Technology, again ram cars, uh, to run up and down, and uh, they also bought three steam locomotives from the Hughes Engineering Works in Loughborough, uh, and they built this shed that was built to accommodate three steam engines. In the floor of the shed, you can see, well, you might not be able to see in the back on time, but there are three inspection pits on the floor of the shed. These are the original three for locals one, two, and three. Uh, the centre one is still open, and you can look closely at the uh, side of the uh, So 1907 to 1920 was a period really of decline uh, and of uh, cutting back. The facility here began to be reduced. Mechanics and, and technicians were laid off. Uh, and the railway started cannibalising its locomotives. So it started with three, uh, it eventually couldn't afford to buy new parts, so it would take a bit off one of the engines to keep the other ones going. Eventually, by 1920, they were down to just one functioning locomotive. Uh, nominally, that was number three. They were approached by Great Western, uh, and Great Western said, sell us the Corus Railway. And, and I think when Great Western comes to you, came to you and said, sell us your railway, you kind of say, yes. Great Western, we think, had their eye on the passenger traffic on the Corus Railway because there was quite a lot. By the, by the 1930s, or the late 20s, the Corus was running a bus service of its own, quite an extensive bus service from Corus, uh, to take these tourists all over Mid Wales. Uh, and this is what Great Western had their eye on. So they purchased the railway to shut down the passenger traffic uh, on the Corus in the 1930s. So the Corus continued as a freight-only line through until 1948, Great Western was nationalised to create British Railways and the Corus therefore became part of British Railways in 19, January 1948 and it lasted for six months uh, and a bit um, because in July of that year there was a storm and the track bed at Mohandlis was partly washed away. Two remaining locomotives were taken to the Mohandlis then. The, the line wasn't severed by the washout, it was just partly damaged. Um, and so they took them down to Mohandlis, put them into storage there under Tuff Hollands. And uh, in 1952 they were both sold to the Tower Flynn Railway. The original asking price, so I'm told, was £60 each. Uh, they were eventually sold for £50 for the pair. On the telephone, they were named, they were given names uh, Sir Hayden, number three, and Edward Thomas, number four. Uh, so the train you arrived, travelled with today is a new build, uh, built by the Plymouth Railway Society in 2005, to the original plans for the tattoo class of locomotive. Covered by our insurance, you can do lots of things. Thank <laughs> you.